is SAT test one, non-calculator question number 15. College Board has given us a quadratic equation with two forms for the same quadratic, a factored form and standard form multiplied out. And they say for AX plus two times BX plus seven equals 15X squared plus CX plus 14. If A plus B equals eight, what are two possible values for C? Well, let's make up two numbers, A and B, where a plus b equals 8 and ax times bx equals 15x squared because when I FOIL this, ax plus 2 times bx plus 7, I get abx squared, that's first times first, plus 7ax, that's the outside, plus 2bx, that's the inside, plus 14, that's the last. So ab has to be 15 and a plus b equals 8. A natural choice is a equals 3, b equals 5. So this is 3x plus 2, 5x plus 7. And here FOIL gives us 3 times 5 is 15, times x times x is 15x squared. Outside times outside, 3x times 7 is 21x. Inside, 2 times 5x is 10x plus 14. And this simplifies to 31x. The x coefficient simplified would be 31, and that is c, which is what they're asking for. D is the only answer choice that has a 31, so that must be correct. But let's try the other choice. If instead of a equals 3, b equals 5, I swap them, a equals 5, b equals 3. It's not necessary to continue this, except for the joy of math and a second chance to see how to do this. FOIL gives us first times first is 5x times 3x is 15x squared, which matches our right-hand side. Outside, 5x times 7 is 35x. Inside, 3x times 2 is plus 6x. And last, 2 times 7 is 14. This simplifies to 15x squared plus 35x plus 6x is 41x plus 14. The x coefficient they're asking for is c. The x coefficient we have is 41. That's the other choice in answer choice d. They said, what are the two possible values for c? We confirmed that 31 and 41 are the two possible values. When you see a quadratic in factored form and your answers are standard form, or the reverse, you see a quadratic in standard form, your answers are factored form. Or when you see something like this, where they set factored form equals standard form, what they're asking for is FOIL. And remember, that's first times first, the product of the outsides, the product of the inside numbers, and the product of the last terms in the two binomials. Make sure you're proficient with FOIL. It comes a up a lot in the SAT and in your future mathematical career, and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.